Hello traders, today I'm gonna share with you why does MWC is heavily battered at this point in time. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell button to receive notification as I create new content twice per week so you will be updated with the latest market happening. So let's get started. A few couple of weeks ago, MWC as you can see uh, is heavily battered due to the government or the president is so much against with it. Why? Because MWC and the Mainilad is planning to increase their rates on water. And at the same time, the both companies, the Mainilad and MWC, is asking the Philippine government to pay the 7.39 billion and 3.4 billion under separate arbitral rulings. Now, as this point in time, December 18, it started to rebound for almost five days. And if you are following my works in my Facebook page, I already mentioned that in this time, December 26, you may take profit already since December 27 is Friday, right? So, there are so many factors involved when I said to take profit. One is that on January 6, uh, the president will, will decide on the matter about the concessionaire agreement, the contract. So, that will also affect the market sentiment and investors perspective so again i already, I already mentioned that if if you bought here nakabili ka dito if the market opened gap down or lower than the yesterday closing price sell at all sell all at once okay but the market went up as high as 11.38 right so if you are new to this trading or mwc trading huwag ka nang humabol kasi there are so much uncertainties lalo na yung sa government or the issue regarding with the government and the company so i already mentioned that uh by if if the market will close bullish on this friday you can still hold but be very very careful that before january 6 it might drop down so here what's happened on the, on january 2 9 30 it opened gap down breaking three major three support at 10 pesos per share 9.5 pesos per share and 9 pesos per share and still having the lowest price of uh 7.62 right breaking the ma9 so what does this means so until wala pa yung decisions on January 6 by President Duterte regarding to this issue there are too much risk ngayon on the investor perspective uh, if you look at the earnings of MWC it is a non growth rate right flat lang yung earnings niya and hindi masyadong high growth industry on the other hand Kapag yung government, they want to try to cease the operation of MWC, they can't do it. Why? Because unang-una, it takes time to build the pipelines, right? In the whole Metro Manila or in the whole Philippines. So, hindi yun ganun kadali. At the same time, yung papalit sa kanya, are they capable to do the services that MWC in Maynilad has been done before 
So, medyo malaki ang ang ano niyan, ang impact kapag ka uh, ano, kapag ka tinuloy talaga ni President Duterte to stop their operations. Ngayon, in the contract naman, actually ang nabasa ko is about sa MWSS. They try to negotiate with M MWC and the Manila concessionaires. Of course, that will affect the income of the both companies kung medyo issue shorten at the same time kung hindi na nga sila nakaka hindi na nga sila pinayagan sa mga increase nila dahil sa regula regulations, it it also affect the earnings. So for for the meantime, I would suggest na you just wait until January 6 or for trading perspective, you, you just wait until January 6, then wait if what ha at what will happen on the market sentiment and on and the and on the price action before you come in into the picture. So in this case, medyo hindi pa masyado maganda ang ang ano, so avoid muna tayo. Or not unless kung gusto mo mag bottom fishing, pwede kang pumasok dito. Diba? Actually, may mga kakilala din ako na nagsumalo dito. Kasi, support to. Oh. Ito. If you can see, this is support. Right? May sumalo dyan. Pero, syempre, it is so very, very uh, risky to do that if the market sentiment is going down. So, kung ako, just wait until a clear bounce Katulad nung nangyari dito, nag-open ng gap up, that's the time I come in. Or here, I traded here the December 26. So, nag-open siya ng gap up, na lagpasan yung MA9. So, pumasok ako dyan, nag-entry tayo dyan, nag-exit ako somewhere here. <clears throat> nung, hindi ko na masyado maalala, pero nung nag-hit na yung tail stop ko, I think 11 or 10.5. <clears throat> nung nahit, binenta ko na lahat. So, in this case, <clears throat> excuse me, in this case, kung makikita nyo, may indecision. So, medyo alanganin pa ang market. So, for me, avoid muna. So, that's it. And I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you learned so much in this topic. And see you soon. God bless and bye-bye.